There's another wood panel one I did to match the big boy. And I have another frog sketch to use for another one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it exactly. It's all very, I don't know, random. Like this one, the color scheme was literally just uh, leftover paint from whichever one I did before this. And so I mentioned in a video about my weekend at the flea market and someone had made a little seed bead ring. Uh, like a friendship ring or whatever. And of course, I ended up breaking it. <laughs> but I was going to make friendship pins anyway to put on my shoes. So what I've been doing is I've been measuring what I have and seeing how much of all this space I could fill up. And I'm being conservative in sense like if I had them close together. I even have a bunch that I think would like be in batches together because it looks better that way than just having like one painting next to each other the whole way around. <laughs> so I'm only getting up to here, which means there's all this, which I think I can do a bit. I just need more frames. It's not like, I it's not that I don't have enough art, it's just I don't have enough frames. And I'm, I'm not going into this like with the expectation that I'm like selling all of my art. Um, so whatever I invest in frames, I'm likely going to have to keep for a long time and I don't want to. <laughs> um, there's this whole grid section here, which I hate because uh, it's, it just blocks off the windows because it's a converted building. Metal grid system, it's just like squares and I don't really like hanging stuff on it. I can tell they don't really like hanging stuff on it either. Um, but it's unfortunate the positioning because it's right against the door. So you want to put the most exciting stuff visible from the door. So that's, it's, it's just this ironic kind of annoying. One thing that I'm doing is I'm redoing this image it was from a long time ago because I had this painting, which is now I cut it up <laughs> so I could reuse it. Uh, I had this painting that I, I liked the concept, but I didn't like the execution, right? Because I wasn't very good at drawing. So I literally just quickly redid this. Also, like the paper is better, so I get nicer color. And this one's like really pale and stuff. And then I have to buy another frame. <laughs> I don't want to buy more frames. Here's a few that I have found recently. I got this one. Um, it's in really good condition. It's like this really nice brushed metal, which actually looks not bad. It doesn't have a mat in it, so I need to get that. <laughs> but it does have glass. And somebody had some old wood ones, which I have restained. I bought this one at the flea market. It's just a silly painting thing. But I really love the color of the wood. And this is actual wood, not fake wood. <laughs> I just ran out to get these. These are little tiny flyers that I made. Uh, I just got like regular flyers printed and I'll just cut them out myself. You know me, I kind of like a variety and it's kind of like the fun thing. Remember when they had uh, Moo card coupons where you get like 50 cards from Moo, the website Moo.com? And they were really nice because you can get um, pretty much as many different images as you want for your business cards. And people love that because I would be like, Oh, if you want a business card, like choose one. And then people get really freaking excited because then they get to choose which picture that they like the most. And so I was hoping to do the same thing with the flyers. Do you like artichokes? Do you like whatever the hell that is? Do you like ghosts, I guess? Do you like foxes? So, I don't know. I feel like that makes people a little bit more excited to take your print media. <laughs> this is my attempt, y'all. Aren't these nicely done? Like, look how crisp that is. I wonder if they do art prints. <laughs> they don't officially, but I feel like if I gave them a paperweight and texture and, and 
the art, I think they could do a good job because these colors are kind of perfect. And it's pretty crisp looking. Pretty soon, at the same time as the art show, I'm also going to be trying out a one-day craft fair at a place called Lavenderland. Lavender Farm, it's really small. The people who own it have made a little, like, theme park, except it's not really. It's like, they invite people to go and take Instagram pictures there. But anyway, it's off-season, and so they use it as a hosting uh, venue for little events and stuff. So I'm going to go to a craft fair there, and I'm kind of excited about it because it looks really pretty, like the building itself. And the best part is, is that I don't have to bring my own table. It's not going to be a table. It's going to be a retail... Um, display and there's little ones that are like these cube stacked tiered shelf thing and I decided to pick that one for some reason maybe a shelf like a side shelf would have made more sense <laughs> but I just wanted to try I always like doing things that are weirder <laughs> but that means that I don't have to lug a bag of display materials with me to this place, which means I'll be able to bring more product. Probably not a lot of foot traffic. If it's a lavender farms, probably not next to a lot of like residential areas. So it might be a destination event, which might not be a good thing, but I gotta try it. Just got some stickers in this perfect cube box. I got these from Syrah Print Crows, and I got this frog butt. I noticed like if I ordered a um, hundred pieces, I could get a better price per sticker, which makes it a little bit more feasible. But I was like, do I really want a hundred frog butt stickers? <laughs> I noticed as I was checking out that you can upload multiple pictures and they will just divide the number amongst all of your art so i got half of them done as crows because people really respond to crow like this particular crow i sold out of all my prints you order 50 pieces and it's this price and then if you order 100 of them it's a lower price and so it kind of felt like cheating to get 50 of one and 50 of another at the 100 piece price like that seems like i'll take it and so i got all these stickers to play with i'm so excited on top of that, I just counted them, and I have 83 crows. That's an obscene number of crows. Because I know a lot of these places will throw in a few extra that they keep in case something goes wrong. 
but I wasn't expecting 33 more than I ordered. Holy crap. That's gonna help a lot because I was really worried about raising my prices on like just like a dinky sticker. <laughs> And I'm not even talking about like Etsy. I mean, like in person. I, I at the at the little market. I definitely give people a deal on these. So shout out to Sarah Print because damn, like your shipping is so fast. Today I get to set up my wild satellite show and look at this beautiful room I get to use up and make look cool. What sucks is that I don't have a car, and so I'm doing multiple trips with all of these <laughs> carts. <laughs> So the first time I ever did this, I got some good tips from the gallery staff, which was to, you know, just clean it up and then just place all the paintings uh, around the room on the floor before you hang them up. What I ended up doing is I took all of my bigger pieces and distributed them evenly around the room. I'm kind of seeing which paintings match each other, like look good together, either by like the frame or the subject. Um, another good piece of advice was to hang everything in sort of batches so that the line is kind of broken up and it's not just one singular uh, row of single lonely paintings at the same height across the room, you know what I mean? So I have a very brief tour here. Here's the first wild satellite painting that actually started the series entirely. The original prompt was chairs and so I took inspiration from a song lyric about building a satellite out of junk to escape, you know, life and find something else. And I just thought that this idea was interesting enough that I wanted to take the catstronaut <laughs> based on my cat Milo um, to different places. And there are a bunch of different animal paintings that I did for the vet, which I filled up the show with because I was originally only supposed to fill half the room. So I took any sort of magical looking animal paintings I had and added them to the show as if they were characters that he meets in his journey. <laughs> I also have this interactive art project based on the Milo with Finches painting and people can come in and they can color their own finches and add them to the picture. I wanted it to be an option for people to can take it home. They can trade their finch for one that's already posted on the image and I hope people do because I'd like people to walk away uh, with a token of friendship for being nice enough to come visit a show um, about searching for friendship. Everything on the grid wall still needs its labels, so it has some temporary labels up, which is what all the pink forms are. And this grid wall is really difficult to work with because it's so backlit, so everything that is stretched on a canvas would look kind of weird. Uh, so I tried to just put the wooden stuff on there and the frame stuff on there. So if you just happen to be in the area, please come look at it. It's free. No one's going to try to sell anything to you. Um, add some birds to the picture, trade them. There's not a whole lot of staff in this building and so the door will be locked. So do knock when you get there. <laughs> it's not actually closed. I don't know, it's fun and I'm going to have my artist sit in where I will be there to like art journal and people can do the project in art journal with me. And that's on the 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. So thank you, uh, not just for watching, but also just being little cheerleaders, especially with this uh, series. I think it's a favorite for some of you. And especially to patrons and anyone who's ever ordered from me, you've made it possible to do all of this. <laughs> especially like all the framing and everything. I'm just really excited and appreciative of all the love. And now I'm going to uh, go take a nap because I feel like I've moved my entire apartment and I'm so tired. <laughs>